The Shevchenko Scientific Society is a Ukrainian scientific society devoted to the promotion of scholarly research and publication that was founded in 1873. Unlike the government-funded National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine, the society is a public organization. It was re-established in Ukraine in 1989 during fall of the Soviet Union. Being exiled back in 1940 it now has its branches in several countries around the globe the United States, Canada, Australia, France. The organization is named after famous Ukrainian poet, writer, artist, public and political figure Taras Shevchenko. History It was founded in 1873 in Lemberg today Lviv, at that time the capital of the Austrian crown land of Kingdom of Galicia and Lodomeria, as a literary society devoted to the promotion of Ukrainian language literature initially under the name Shevchenko Society. It was established soon after another cultural society better known as Prosvita Enlightenment. At that time any publication in Ukrainian language was prohibited in the Russian-controlled Ukraine Little Russia. from the beginning it attracted the financial and intellectual support of writers and patrons of Ukrainian background from the Russian Empire. The Shevchenko Scientific Society was created on an idea of a writer Oleksandr Konisky and the Shevchenko's contemporary Dmytro Pilkikov with the financial support of Yelizaveta Milorodovich Skoropadska. In 1893, due to the change in its statute, the Shevchenko Scientific Society was transformed into a real scholarly multidisciplinary academy of sciences with its periodical The Zapisky NTSH Notes of the Shevchenko Scientific Society, yet continue to be specialized in the Ukrainian studies. Throughout most of its history it had three sections, history philosophical, philological, and mathematically medical natural scientific. Under the presidency of the historian, Mykhailo Rushevsky, it greatly expanded its activities, contributing to both the humanities and the physical sciences, law and medicine, but most specifically once again it concentrated on Ukrainian studies. During this period, one of its most prolific contributors was the poet, folklorist, and literary historian Ivan Franco who headed the philological section. Also during that period the society created several museums, libraries, and archives. By 1914, several hundred volumes of scholarly research and notices had been published by the society including over a hundred volumes of its Sapiskai. The First World War interrupted the society's activities, particularly during the Russian occupation in 1914–1915 when the society's collection of works and its print shop were destroyed. After the war and the Polish–Ukrainian conflict, the West Ukraine belonged to Poland. During that time the society lost its government subsidies, but managed to carry on a precarious existence. Its major contributors were the literary historians, Vassil Sharat, Kyril Studinsky, and the historian Ivan Kripiakevich. One of the most important projects of the society was the publication of the first general alphabetic encyclopedia in the Ukrainian language. The Soviet Union annexed the eastern part of the Second Polish Republic including the city of Lviv, which capitulated to the Red Army on of September 1939. Upon their occupation of Lviv, the Soviets dissolved the society. Many of its members were arrested and either imprisoned or executed. Among the perished members were such academicians as R. Zubik, a former Ukrainian minister I. Feshchenko Shopaski, a Ukrainian parliamentarian Petro Franco, Kyril Studinsky, and many others. During the Nazi occupation, the society still was not able to function openly. In 1947, on the initiative of the geographer, Volodymyr Kubiovich, it was re-founded as an émigré scholarly society in Munich. The society's European centre was later moved to Paris. Other branches were also founded in New York City 1947, Toronto 1949, and Australia 1950, and throughout the Cold War it functioned as a federation of semi-independent societies. During its period in emigration, the major project of the society was again an encyclopedia. 
Under the editorship of Volodymyr Kubiovich, it published the Great Encyclopedia Ukrainoznavestiva, Encyclopedia of Ukrainian Studies, consisting of four major series: the Ukrainian language thematic encyclopedia in three volumes, the Ukrainian language alphabetic encyclopedia in eleven volumes, the English language thematic encyclopedia in two volumes, and the English language alphabetic one in five volumes. The last compilation, published in Canada under the title Encyclopedia of Ukraine, is available online. In 1989, the society was reactivated in the Ukrainian homeland in Lviv and once again undertook a large-scale research and publication program. Branches were soon founded in other Ukrainian cities and membership exceeded a thousand, including 125 full voting members. Topic Presidents Topic Ukraine eighteen seventy three to eighteen eighty five Kornilo Sushkevich eighteen eighty five to eighteen eighty seven Sidir Romnitsky eighteen eighty seven to eighteen eighty nine Damian Ladylovich 1889 to 1891 Sidir Romnitsky 1891 to 1892 Damian Ladylovich 1892 to 1893 Yulian Selevich 1893 to 1897 Alexander Barvinsky 1897 to 1913 Mykhailo Rushevsky 1913 to 1918 Stepan Tomashevsky 1919–1923 Vassil Sharat 1923–1932 Kyrylo Studinsky 1932–1935 Volodymyr Levitsky 1935–1940 Ivan Rakovsky 1940–1989 Soviet occupation and World War II 1989–2005 Ole Romanov 2005 to 2014 Ole Kupchinski 2014 Roman Kushnir Topic Europe minus 1952 Zenon Kuzela 1952 to 1985 Volodymyr Kubiovich 1985 to 1997 Arkady Zhukovsky 1997 to 1999 Danilo Husa struck 2000 to 2011 Arkady Zhukovsky 2011 Stefan Dunikovsky Topic United States 1947 to 1952 Mykola Chubaty 1952 to 1969 Roman Smile Stocky 1969 to 1974 Matthew Stashif 1974 to 1977 OSYP Andrushkov 1977 to 1990 Yaroslav Padik 1990 to 2000 Leonid Rudnutsky 2000 to 2006 Larissa Zaleska Onishkevich 2006 to 2012 Oris Popovich 2012 to 2018 George G Grabovich 2018 Helena HRYN Topic Canada 1949 to 1973 Yevhen Vertiparok 1974 to 1994 Bodin Stebelski 1994 to 2000 Vladimir Maku 2000 Daria Darovich Topic Society Press Media Literaturno Naukovy Visnik English Literary Scientific Herald was published 1898 to 1906 1922 to 1932 in Lviv and 1907 to 1914 1917 to 1919 in Kiev The chief editor was Ivan Franko since 1905 Mykhailo Rushevsky <laughs> 